what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in all right so i see uh people in the comment section really like this mix so i guess i might as well break down a few more tips and tricks that i can give you this time around uh kind of breaking down some of the mastering tricks that i used in order to enhance the song um so yeah first i just like to shout out everyone that has been subscribing all the old head subscribers you are old heads by now if you've been around on this channel for longer than a year shout out to you but anyway so yeah um let me firstly play uh the track without any mastering on it right and then we will kind of listen to it with the mastering and then i'll just give you a few tips and tricks and pointers on the loudness you know i did see uh Beybody asking about this plugin right here and how to you can use any loudness meter um but you know i'll give you tips and tricks and insight onto achieving a better sound and finalizing your music so if you're into that stay tuned let's take a listen again to this track uh download link i mean not download link my bad link towards Mikel is the artist um soundcloud in the description if you do like to if you would like to listen to the song again um it is a nice mix and all that great lyrics and all that let's get into it i want want you to leave but i hate when you're gone stay for a little but don't stay too long only part of me likes you but barely at all i wish you the best please do not get me wrong L losing my mind don't know what's going on you play like a pro but it makes you a con are you sure that you're right when you tell me i'm wrong deposit my time just to get it withdrawn pull up to the scene i hop in the whip all right, so that is the song without any sort of uh, master bus or master channel processing. Now let's turn on all of our processing. We've got the ozone, and I'll 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 pull in every plugin uh, just so you can kind of see what's going on one by one. You know, we'll kind of start off with these two and the EQ. But yeah, let's take a listen. I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone Stay for a little, but don't stay too long Only part of me likes you, but barely at all I wish you the best, please do not get me wrong L Losing my mind, don't know what's going on You play like a pro, but it makes you a con Are you sure that you're right when you tell me I'm wrong? Deposit my time just to get it withdrawn Pull up to the scene, I hop in the whip Baby, say what's up? I just want... Alrighty, so there you go. It sounds a lot more kind of finalized, you know what I mean? But if you listen to the rough again, um, you can kind of hear that the mix is done, you know what I mean? You need to really learn how to divide the mix and the master um, into two separate categories. Now, if we kind of think about the two, right, we've got what we call the mixing stage, right, where we blend all the different sections and, and treat and fix and do, you know, all the cool things to our vocals and our beats to really get a nice sounding song. But... Um, on the master channel, we can do a lot more to kind of um, finalize the, the 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 track. You know what I mean? To kind of bring everything together, jet it together, um, fix any parts that might be a bit um, or parts within the frequency spectrum that might be a bit harsh. You know, and um, you know what I mean? Just make it louder, obviously. So the first thing I do, right, is because if you checked out the demo or the 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 mix without the master. Um, I, I, it was kind of clipping at some points and as you can see I know it is clipping here again um, but don't worry about that you know what I mean it doesn't really matter you'll understand why in a second but when you know I at least try and pull in one or two pieces of analog emulation so as you can see right here I've got this um, Abbey Rhodes Brilliance Control which is really just boosting two decibels at 10,000 hertz right so just around here you know we kind of boosting or 10, 10k region around there um, you know I try and do that but you know, when using analog gear, right, as you can see right here, I've got this analog emulated um, vintage tube mastering compressor. And I highly recommend going and buying one of these CD Soundmaster plugins. Really cool, really interesting plugins. Um, you don't want to be smashing these hard, you know. So as you can see right here, as long as the input for all the analog style plugins is below zero, right, or at least like minus nine, so minus 10 right there. Uh, we're going to be getting nice clean signal for the analog emulated gear now obviously if you're using stuff like digital um this doesn't really matter because you know it, it has an infinite headroom space you know what i mean but i'm guessing that a lot of these vintage uh emulations were designed to have a certain area where they sound nice you know what i mean so these actually react towards having loud signals so if you distort into it it'll kind of start to distort whereby you know these plugins which are just purely you know ones and o's per se um, or programmed to just be ones and o's and sound like ones and o's clipping really to me doesn't really matter maybe it does um but for the most part if it sounds good it's fine you know what i mean so just stick towards kind of a gain staging theory now obviously i should have turned down all the tracks coming in but then i lost a bit of the vibe so that's the first thing you want to worry about and i know i'm kind of stressing that but it's really just your your gain staging all right um gain staging right there so I just turn it down by 10 decibels. Just make sure everything is not clipping around, 
you know, minus 12 to minus 6 is a really good region to start your your, your mastering off. Um, so yeah, the next thing I do right there was just a bit of a boost at 2,000, at 10,000 hertz, my bad. Um, and, you know, 2 dB boost just because I wanted the track to really cut through. So if I turn that off... I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone Stay for a little, but don't stay too long Only part of me likes you, but barely at all I wish you the best, please do not get me wrong L Losing my mind, don't know what's going on You play like a pro, but it makes you a cop You know, you can really hear how aggressive that snare becomes You can really hear how the vocals start to really punch through And as you can see, that's just a 2 dB boost You know what I mean? Nothing more, nothing less Um... You know, keep it simple. Go and find if you can't afford this. This is a really expensive plugin. If you can't afford this, just, you know, do a nice field day of Google searching and, and type in, you know, um, vintage EQs, you know what I mean? Uh, free VSTs and, and you can find a ton of stuff and find stuff that you like, you know what I mean? Because that way you can formulate your sound. Um, so the next thing I did right here was just to really treat, I know I'm kind of working backwards here, but I did reduce everything above 4,000 hertz by like a dB. You know, that's the secret to mastering. It's really just finding the frequencies that are kind of annoying you and then reducing them a little bit. So if we kind of work on this um, 614 hertz, right? Let's just listen to, if I boosted this area, let's see what actually happens. I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone. Stay for a little, but don't stay too long. Only part of me likes you. Right there, you can hear how like kind of uh, nasally and, 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 and you know whatnot, it sounds kind of boxy. So just a little boost there, like a 1 dB, 2 dB boost is really going to open up the track for you. If, if these types of cuts are not helping you, I recommend going back to the mix and kind of finding what is sounding bad in that region. You know what I mean? But a little cut. The reason I EQ in mastering is, is because to me, at times it'll sound better to boost the snare and the vocal at one time instead of go to the vocal boost at 10k and then go to the snare and boost at 10k Some, sometimes it just sounds better that's kind of the even and all that you can look at um so yeah just really minimal cuts and boosts you know obviously all i'm doing here is cutting essentially all you want to be doing is cutting and mastering and then boosting a little bit with the flavor eq per se that's why people have mastering engineers you know that have really nice gears they adding flavor to your song and then just fixing the few issues that might be um persisting in your song if that makes sense but yeah next thing i did right here was just a bit of master bus um compression you know with compressing a mix if it's a hip-hop song if it's an acoustic song you don't want to be compressing a lot you know um edm definitely benefits from compressing a lot you know i mean you can almost get away with like four to five db of compression depending on what style of compression you're using in terms of limiting and all that but hip-hop anything that has punch and and rhythm per se um and it's not doo -doo 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 -doo, you know you can really just introduce the compressor to really just gel the mix together so i want you to look at this meter right here vu meter and i want you to see how much it's compressing it's compressing just about 1 db maybe 1.5 but it's really just kissing the compressor and additionally what i'm doing is i'm using this because remember I, I turned the volume down right i'm now boosting the volume with this analog style compressor so i'm really emulating um analog style mastering per se you know what i mean i'm using an analog style compressor to bring in the gain so it's adding a certain flavor again to this song so let's take a listen to this um and we'll turn it on and off after i want want you to leave but i hate when you're gone stay for a little but don't stay too long only part of me likes you but barely at all i wish you the best please do not get me wrong losing my mind don't know what's going on you play like a pro but it makes you a con are you sure that you're right when you tell me i'm wrong deposit so there you go, we, we, we're killing um, two birds with one stone there. We're getting volume and loudness, right? And then we're also compressing by 1 dB and it's really just kissing the kicks, you know what I mean? Just to make sure those kicks aren't sounding too uh, paper mache per se. But yeah, next thing I do right here is just a bit of stereo wide widening. Now, if you know Alex Tomei, uh, he kind of, you know, I recommend going and watching the Red Bull seminar he did where he talks about uh, mastering with this plugin and all he does is just a little bit of stereo separation. Now, all you you can also download the A1 stereo separator. That is a great alternative to this. It's kind of emulating, uh, you know, similar to what this one is doing. But all I'm doing is is nudging up the stereo width by uh, 10. You know what I mean? In this case, uh, three is the max, right? So you can kind of do the math on what, what percentage of stereo widening we're doing. But as you can see, it's so minimal, but it's really opening up the track so you can kind of hear those re reverbs and delays and to really hear that guitar kind of, um, you know, sound a bit wider. So if I turn it off, really small changes. 
I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone Stay for a little, but don't stay too long Only part of me likes you, but barely at all I wish you the best, please do not get me wrong L Losing my mind, don't know what's you know what I mean? So there you go. As you can see, I did boost it really high and things really start to fall apart. You know, when you go too far, I wouldn't go above, you know, 1.5 for those on this plugin. But then again, you could use the fruity separator, you know, go and 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 play with plugins. You know what I mean? Don't um, just wait on me to make a video with the free stuff. Go ahead and, and mess around. So yeah, last thing but not least, man, the Ozone. Really great maximizer. Um, the secret here, if you've lasted this long, the video is actually this dynamic EQ, which is really just dealing with all the resonances in the track before making it loud. Um, but, you know, I'm using that master system right there. That's why Ozone 8 is really amazing. But yeah, first thing what I'm doing is just turning down the bass a little bit with the EQ, boosting around, you know, to 4K just to make it the song a bit more present, and then boosting the highs a little bit because you can kind of see it's kind of lacking in that region. Uh, but that's probably due to the fact that it's MP3, the beat is an MP3. But yeah, the dynamic EQ is really helping just um, suck away any of the frequencies that are sounding a bit resonant. Uh, resonant meaning like um, boxy or or whatever the case so we'll turn this off i think that's really all um we can turn off in here and then i'm really just using the limit and as you can see right here i'm not using i'm not crushing the song you know uh minus three damn i really hate when i do that um hmm okay there we go yeah as you can see right there true peak limiter etc etc i uh, really just basic stuff you know what i mean just finalizing the song but if i turn off this dynamic eq you can just hear the difference I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone Stay for a little, but don't stay too long Only part of me likes you, but barely at all I wish you the best, please do not get me wrong L Losing my mind, don't know what's going on You play like a pro, but it makes you a con Are you sure that you're right when you tell me I'm wrong? Deposit my so there you go So the last thing I will talk about is this WLM uh, meter Now the thing that I will always talk about when mastering is you need to aim for a target, right? A kind of general area where you want to master to. Uh, this is our true peak limiter, by the way, just to make sure nothing goes up to zero. Easy stuff. But yeah, you want to aim for a target. What I was aiming for in this song was pretty much around like between minus nine LUFS and then minus 10.5 LUFS. That to me is a really good um, level to have for sending to a client or someone to listen uh, or releasing on SoundCloud. But for YouTube and that kind of stuff, I'm always aiming for around minus 12 LUFS, minus 13 LUFS, because that is a more uh, decent level for YouTube to work with. Obviously, every separate streaming service has a um, kind of area that they're looking for, you know what I mean? And if it, if it is louder than that area, the algorithm kicks in and turns the song down. So we'll just play this one last time. I'll just kind of give the outro right now, you know what I mean? Shout out to everyone for watching the video. Shout out to all the subscribers, you know what I mean? It's much appreciated. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, just watch these meters. Long term is the overall perceived loudness. Short term is the short term loudness at any given time. Um, definitely go and download the new, is it the Ulean loudness meter? It does exactly the same thing. This is just used, uh, you know, when I do film production and that kind of stuff. But yeah, you know, feel free to like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'll check in the next video. Peace out. I want, want you to leave, but I hate when you're gone Stay for a little, but don't stay too long Only part of me likes you, but barely at all I wish you the best, please do not get me wrong L Losing my mind, don't know what's going on You play like a pro, but it makes you a con Are you sure that you're right when you tell me I'm wrong? Deposit my time just to get it withdrawn Pull up to the scene, I hop in the whip Baby, say what's up? I just want the money, so I gotta test my luck I just wanna get it, feel like I be going